Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be looking at the Yes Welder DP200. If you're interested in picking this up on the early bird special, which is $399, I'll put all this information in the description if you are interested in more information. I think that's a killer price for a dual pulse MIG welder. It's also multi multi-purpose so you could do a uh, lift TIG as well as stick weld and flux core so I mean it'll do a lot of different things so I'm going to test out some of the uh, pulse MIG settings and feature of this machine I have never used a pulse MIG welder before so the the welds you're going to see me do in this video are my very first ever MIG pulse welds you do not get the pulse function if you're only plugged into a 120 volt outlet you need the 240 volt outlet. We'll see if we can get it set up for some pulse MIG welding and we'll just check it out and see what it does. Regular pulse on. We'll try a little fillet weld here in the corner and then we'll have a look at it. Alright, that's pretty cool. And so far, pretty easy. So this is the first one that I did, just trying to figure it out, and it seemed like it was doing all right. I was going way too slow. Then I tried a little fillet weld here in the corner, and I think there I was going a little bit too fast. So I've got a spot here where there is no fillet weld. I'm going to try to do about half of that, and we'll just see what that ends up looking like. Again, I just have the settings that I set on the machine. I didn't customize anything. It's showing 252 inches per minute at 91 amps. Set up on 1 8 inch material. Let's see what we can do on that fillet weld. Wow, that is pretty cool. I'll show you this and we'll do the second half with the dual pulse or double pulse and see what happens with that. Well, that's the fillet weld with the Yes Welder DP200 in the pulse setting on 1 8 inch steel. I'll do the second half of this fillet weld with the uh, double pulse, go with whatever settings it gives us synergically, and then we'll uh, make a fillet weld with that and check it out. So to put it on double pulse, we're just gonna put this on the pulse where that red line is select it we've already got single pulse on so we just keep turning this until it goes down here and then we select by pressing in and now we have double pulse and I think we just want to get out of that screen and it says DB pulse on so we're in double pulse Currently it's showing 252 inches per minute and 91 amps. So far I'm really liking this machine. If you're interested you need to get in on it before the price goes up because at $399, heck you can't hardly get a regular old MIG welder for $399. This one's got double pulse and so far it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's check this out. All right, so that's putting out a lot less wire across the period of time, but I mean, it's all right. Let me show that to you. So the right is single pulse and the left is the double pulse. I've got a, another blank area over here for fillet welds. We'll set it up for that. And I'm gonna play around with that double pulse setting and we'll just see what we can come up with. And then let's go over one to advanced. And I want to change this pulse frequency so it's selected. This knob over here on the left 
changes that setting. So it was on zero. Let's just go to the extreme so we can find out what it does. So we went up to 5.0 hertz double pulse frequency. We'll see what that does. I'm not going to do a fillet here. I'm just going to weld on one of these sides just to see what it does because I honestly have no idea. But one way to find out. All right, you can hear what it's doing, just pulsating that arc. Let's change it again. Yeah, I'm gonna go over one to dual pulse duty, and we'll bring that one down to 25%. Let's see if it slows down that pulse. Having never used pulse MIG welding, it's uh, all trial and error, for me anyway. Okay, we're going to bring that dual pulse duty down to 10%. See what that does. Probably cool it way down. Let's see. Alright, well apparently you can't do that because nothing happens. Let's go to 15. Well, maybe I need to get out of that screen. I don't know. Yeah, it brought the amps down to 51, and the speed is 243 inches per minute. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but let's see what that does. Just slows it way down. Let's move that up. It looks like it's, the weld looks like it's way too cold. So let's go back to the advanced page. Let's go up to 90. See what happens with that. Huh. Yeah, let me show you those. So you're not left in the dark. You can at least see what's happening. So these four welds are the ones I've been doing. This was the first, second, third and then one over on the right was the fourth changing the width of the bead with the pulse I like it better to just let the machine do the setting for you and just weld I'm going to continue to explore these new pulse features of the Yes Welder DP200 so I can become more familiar with the machine but so far I really like it I think it's going to be a great machine especially for the introductory price and I'll leave links to it and the new Kickstarter program links in the description of this video and if you want to check out one of my favorite TIG welding machines the TIG 200P ACDC machine by Yes Welder click on the video on the screen now and I'll see you over there